Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Skyward Sword. So in the last episode we ended the video on this awesome platform that looks cool and stuff. So in this video we are going to go see, hopefully see, the water dragon. The water primordial dragon. <laughs> so yes, sorry if my, my quality or you know, sorry if I sound distant, I'm actually sitting decently far away from my mic and I don't have a boom arm so I can't like bring the mic to me you know any closer because I don't have a way to so hopefully this will reduce my Wii remote from actually acting up I don't know if it will but you know I think it's safe to assume that my Wii remote was doing the things that it was doing because I was sitting too close to the TV and that was my fault. I thought I was pointing up, but apparently not. I was actually testing this, you know, not, I wouldn't say method, but I was testing this out and it does seem to be a bit more responsive, but <clears throat> only time will tell. Ooh, a fish. That reminds me of something from another game. I don't know. Yikes. Oh, they're back. <laughs> That's one of the fish that weirdo brought here. Who's that weirdo? Are you talking about Gerhem? I said weirdo, like really um, weird there, but my Wii remote does seem to be a lot more responsive, as in it's not constantly, you know, swaying to the left and right. It kind of is doing that, but that's because mainly my hand is being dumb and just doing that because I don't know how to keep my hand steady to save my life. I like how the, I like how he actually triggered the bubble to pop, I didn't know you could do that. So do we go straight through the door or do we have to like do something? We might have to do something. Oh yeah, because we need two of them, don't we? Hello. Are you going to talk to me? Okay, there we go. At last, we're here. Where are we at, sir? Hmm. It looks like a keyhole. It's a boss door. Not really. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, the Water Primordial is just up ahead. Hang on just a second. The Water Primordial? Like what is this trove? Pro it might as well be, although this game is a lot better than Trove, to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> nice key head you got there. <clears throat> I think this goes directly to her, if I think about it, like, if I think about it, um, if I remember correctly. Is there any, yeah, okay, there is air here, let me do something real quick, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I meant the surface there if I said the water, because I think I said the water before I left. But anyway, let's go. I seem to recall having to do something else, but maybe I'm thinking of another game, because I really do remember doing something else. Maybe there's something to do. Let's see. Shouldn't be making assumptions all the time. <clears throat> Ooh, looks very pretty. Look at all the... the Jellyfish? These aren't jellyfish. They kind of look like them, but they're not. And let's expertly go up. Oh, that was really close. I think I did that exact same thing, like last time. Nice antennae you have. Antenna, antennae with an eye. You have intruded into my home, a sacred place. Few are permitted to enter. Oh ho, but I am permitted because I am the great one. Water drip. I should, I'm lost. Like, okay. I am those with manners addressed as Pharon, Warden of the Woods. Hmm, y y Warden of the Woods, you would think she would be green or something, wouldn't you? You know, like you associate woods with being green. Because, you know, forest and all that. A sacred gift such as that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero. Could you be really be him? No, I'm just a random bystander just wanting to come here to say hello. <clears throat> That crackling, crackling old hermit, Kiwi, Kikwi, because Kikwis and Kiwis are the same thing. So, hubba hubba saying stuff, she's in a pot. Of course! I don't even know what she said, I just said of course, because I know that's the right word that, pro <clears throat> that progresses through the dialogue. There's no doubt about it, a test is in order to prove you're anything, wait, you're everything you are that you say. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Gerhem. Ooh -hoo. I believe this is the mark of the next dungeon. Not, you know, this place, but I think there's a place just outside where we have to... Oh no, okay, this is what this is. 
This is actually the part of the game where we have to go to the beginning of like the first dungeon in the game and get some healing water. This is actually interesting. I like this part of the game. I like how they make you do that. <clears throat> do this voice crack. Healing water that looks like mint, mint water. Master, you have wisely elected to carry an empty bottle. Bottle, <laughs> bottle. Because I am wise. I do have an empty bottle. Do I? Well, she just said I did, but I don't know. If you continue down this way, you will find the exit back to the woods. Excellent, now lo run along. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but again, the Wii Remote does seem a lot more stable. Like, it's not actually, you know, going left and right nearly as much as it was before. But the only problem is, you know, my voice is kind of distant, which maybe in editing I can do something about that. Oh, hello. Here's a bird statue, which I believe we can fall from. So, you know, get it <laughs> before you forget. Here are some of... How do I get my... Okay, it's up. I think it's up. I always confuse how to get the harp out. Up. Strum. Is this a... um? Yeah, okay, it's this guy. I didn't want it to be a stone, not a stone, uh, a drawing on the wall, because I suck at those, I really do. Ooh, a monster claw. You got a monster claw, and it plays a very nice jingle. Yay. <clears throat> I, I mean, you know, I'm just realizing that I probably should be talking louder, but, oh, that's a grasshopper, which I may note. Oh my god, I don't know how to play this game, but maybe I should be getting those. I wanted to um, upgrade my net because the net becomes a lot bigger and it becomes blue because blue is superior <laughs> to red, right? <clears throat> oh, that's my first one. Nice, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I probably should be talking a little bit louder because I am sitting further away from the mic. But oh well, I'll see how this turns out. I'm looking at my. Um, recording software and I'm seeing it not go to the red which I let me put this away I mainly try to keep the thing not going to the red because obviously red means that it's peaking and you know but if it's too low then <clears throat> I need to talk louder because it's not really touching the red but <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad sometimes because if it's always in the green then I think that it's too quiet, but it probably isn't. Oh, let me center this. Got horribly off-centered. Because of how I hold the Wii Remote, so dumb. I don't understand how I hold the Wii Remote and the game actually det detects it. Oh, hello, monster. Ooh, should we get him? Look at his butt. Let's stab him in the butt. Stab! Stab! St <laughs> yes! Stab him in the butt. Haha, watch this. Get me. Yes, okay, so I always mess that up. <clears throat> like, I always mess that up. I don't know why. But if you do, man... Okay, that time he threw away his shield. Last time he wouldn't do it for the life of him. I don't know why. <laughs> man, I'm getting really lucky with that. Most times I don't actually hit him. Or the shield, I guess. I don't hit him with the shield properly. And I kind of had the volume turned low, so I can't really hear for a sound cue. Although I don't think you really need a sound cue. But anyway... Let's go on to the temple. This is gonna be fun. It's basically backtracking, which I like in, you know, this game. I don't think a lot of Zelda games, or I don't even know if any of them at all, do this. No. No. Okay, so it seems like the generous can only steal one health. Why is the... Okay. Centered. Again, because it goes off centered, because I don't know how to play this game correctly. <clears throat> If I was smart, I would probably be bringing, uh, that's, that was close. Do I need to do this? Yeah, I do. If I was smart, I probably would bring a potion that would fix my shield. But I don't know how to prepare, so I'm not gonna do that. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> you got a jelly blob. Yay, I like jelly. Is it jelly? I put it on peanut butter. Your peanut butter and jelly. Like stuff. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to, uh, to completely do the dungeon. I might be able to because I'm only on 9 minutes. I could go over 20 minutes. <clears throat> That's the thing with me. I kind of keep the video, you know, below or just about at 20 minutes. I know I could technically go over, 
by a lot. I could go to like 25 or something, but I don't want the video to be too long. Although, most of the time when I think the video is too long, it actually isn't. And if I was smart, I... Actually, I could have gotten to the temple a lot faster if I used the bird statue and then come back. Or came back, or <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> I think that's actually why... Well, that's not why they put the bird statue there, but I could have made really good use of that bird statue. Come on. I'm shaking the weird remote like a madman here. There we go. Go, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is good. <clears throat> now, when we get to the temple, it's actually gonna be a lot, well, not a lot harder. The Basically, the traps and stuff are gonna be a reset, and we're gonna need keys and all that junk. That's gonna be really fun. I can hear them in the background. They're still following me. Like, go away, please. <laughs> this is the right way, right? Did I... Can you... Like, look at this. Like, how how did none of those actually hit him? I hit him, like, both directions. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know how that guy didn't die. I thought only the blue ones didn't die right away. <clears throat> Is this the right... No, it's... No, it's not. How do I do this again? Or do I go over here? Because I seem to recall something. I think I'm on the total leader. No, no way. I, I made a shortcut. That's right. <laughs> I, at least I'm pretty sure I made a shortcut. Yeah, I did. Okay, this makes this a lot easier. Bees, no. Oh, um, I didn't know you actually knocked me down. What is this? What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Please do not. Okay, I was going to say, please do not knock me down. Uh, no. Just just run. Just, you. Uh, these, these dumb jelly blobs. It's not even that they blend in with the, the forest. It's that there's too many of them. <clears throat> Ow, that actually hurt my throat when I did that. Oh look, another one of those fat things. Or something. Let's call them the Americans, because <laughs> that's really bad. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go up here and go back into the dungeon. Let me make sure I have a- yeah, okay, I do have an empty bottle. I, I actually didn't even know I had an empty bottle. We go into the dungeon with an empty bottle. That's how it would be like in real life. Like if Flink was doing this in real life, he would just have an empty bottle in his hand. Like, dude, I need the water. My readings indicate the presence of sacred water within the temple. Unfortunately, it is not possible to use your dousing ability here. I don't know why it's not, but oh well. <clears throat> yeah, so pretty much everything is locked again. Like all the doors, you can, well not all of them. You can see this one locked door. So it, it's not that hard. And uh, the cool thing about this is there is a boss. It's not really a boss, it's more of a mini boss, but it's still cool, nonetheless. Learn to- uh, I thought- I can't- I can never tell, like, what way it's, um, pointing, and I went horizontally. Okay, just do that. You should be killing them like that anyway, until you have the, the sword upgrade that makes you one-shot them. Because that will kill them in one shot regardless, because you're basically cutting the stem in half. And, ooh, interruptions. I love interruptions. Hello. Red hair, redhead. <laughs> Hold it, you're the guy. The guy I met in the volcano. The smell, that smelly smell. Um, um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I call it, you got treasure hunting written all over your face. Oh, do I? But do I? Did the big stone guy out of there, what? Tip ya off in the... To the, uh, he, um, <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, that's what he, that's, <sighs> I can't talk. What did he say again? Strum a chord, most beautiful. Oh ho, I so happen to have a harp that does that. Because I am the video game character and I am the star. You are an NPC, so you do not have what you need because you are an NPC. Um, can I go up here? <clears throat> Yes, I can. Shortcut, haha. Um, yeah, like, look at all the enemies here now. There's, there's, um, the second dungeon, you know, <laughs> enemies and all that. And kill this guy because I don't care. I'm actually really low on health. I don't know how I allowed myself to get that low on health, but anyway. Let's keep on going. Hopefully this is the... Hello? Haha, I see you again. I just met you, like... Well, I just saw you like two seconds ago. Can't remember which hole I had. I hit it in. I should stop talking too fast. That's my problem. I know 
Like, I, I know that I'm talking too fast. I don't know why I do that. I just catch myself talking, you know, way too fast sometimes. And if we jump in the water here, I believe we can go in the hole. Now, you wouldn't think that you can do this, but you actually can. And, the, you know, the first time I was actually stuck here for like a half an hour because I didn't know that you could do that. And I don't even know if there's any point in the game where they tell you that you can do that. But if you know, like, you know, you, if you already know the dungeon or the layout or where everything is, it's, it makes this a lot easier. Do we? Okay, no, we don't. <clears throat> That's already hit. So I'm pretty sure we can actually go to the boss now. Well, not the boss, but, you know, we're getting really, really close. Because I think the shortcuts don't close up, so we can just, you know, skip right through this. Do not target that. Just go, just go. Uh, why did you have to do that? Why have you forsaken me? Oh my god, he missed. <laughs> That's nice. <clears throat> Ooh, an enemy. Let's see if I can time this right, because I, I'm i not good at my timing. Um, yeah, see, I'm not good at timing on these ones. Oh, um, <laughs> you just stood there and let me kill you. Thank you. Ooh, red rupee. 20 rupees. Now, I believe... Did I get the heart piece here? Let me check. I think I got the heart piece here last time I was actually here. Because I did. So, this shortcut is open, so we can just take this. This, this is why this is so nice, because it, it's pretty much... Oh, um... So, what you want to do, actually... I might... So, what you want to do... I might... <laughs> I like how I cut myself off there, so... I think what you can do... Yeah, I, my thing's not centered. I forgot to center my beetle before I um, launched it. Get this thing and drop it on you and kill you. <laughs> I don't think it actually kills them, except if you know if they fall in the hole. What do you want? Your hearts have de have decreased quite dramatically. Mhm. Mm that is a good time for me to use my potion. That's actually really weird because I don't. I don't think I've ever had to use a potion like that before. Whatever, I'm just gonna... Yeah, just just do this. Like, I, I don't know why that's not working. I, I've done everything that I can. It just doesn't work. How can we do it? Can we get to the end? How far can we get? Uh, no, we cannot get up. Get up. Like, okay, so... Yeah, I can't do it. I, I, I've i done it once, but it, it doesn't work. I don't know why. <clears throat> so here is a... Um, hello, third time's a charm, right? Sheesh, I dug some serious miles to get my paws on treasure, and I found squat. I found diddly squat. <laughs> Nothing here but water. Ho-ho, but that's where you're wrong. It's sacred water. That means it's better than water. So we just go through here, and I'm actually surprised how fast that was. I thought we had to do a lot more than what... <clears throat> oh, jeez. <clears throat> I feel like a little thing in my throat. What do we have here? I think we have uh, two of them. Let me see. Yeah, there's oh, three of them. That's nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hopefully this isn't too bad. You know, you know, I usually shield barge, but... Oh wait, there's actually a trick to this. Now let me... Okay, yes, I do have all these bombs. Now if you get far away and set the bomb down and pretty much just circle straight the bomb like this. I I'm kind of doing this wrong. But do... Oh, I, man. Now do that and that will give you a lot of hits on them. That's probably not the most effective strat because I don't think the bomb itself actually hurts them. But I'm going to keep on doing this. Hit me, hit one at- okay, hit them. I I seriously am, un like, underestimating the range of this bomb. That's crazy. I didn't think it, it, you know, it was that long. Now, these guys aren't particularly hard. It's the fact that there's three of them. And usually when there's, uh, you know, a big swarm of them like this, it usually gets hard. Now, let me get my nunchuck because I want to see if I can block at least one of them. When there's two of them, I believe I can block them effectively, but while there's three of them, I don't think that's really going to happen. Oh, that got one of them. Get him? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, like, <clears throat> I'm really bad at this when there's three of them. When it gets to, like, two or one, then I can kind of do this. That's, yeah, I knew that was only going to hit him. I don't think the initial explosion is actually hurting them. 
it might be. Does the Skyward Strike do anything? I've never actually done this. Yeah, okay, they just block it. I've never used the bomb method, but I've seen so many people recommend this, like in videos of their, um, like when they play it. Okay, that got one. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of doing this really bad now. And this is probably not nearly as effective. But I, I don't like when they're all together like this. Like, it's hard for me to do this. Like, if, if it was only one active at a time, then yeah, yeah, that would be, you know, something totally different. I'm not even holding my Wii Remote right, so it's not <laughs> doing the right attack. <clears throat> come on, come on, let's do this. Do this. Chris Winkleberry, let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Hit him like a man, man. I know, I, I use my shield, I use my shield. Can I kill one of them? Like, I'm, I'm surprised one of them is not even dead yet. Yeah, like, I do that, but see, it, it doesn't matter because, um, you know, the other ones are there, so... I'm not even hitting the same one over and over again is, the, you know, my problem. It's not doing the attack I want it to. Okay, that one's dead. Thank you. But, jeez. <laughs> I think, no, that's Ocarina of Time where there's a time limit, right? I don't think this game actually does that, where there's like a t like it's on a time limit, but I might be wrong. Now, what you want to do, I think you want to actually stab them, because I think they can't block the stabbing, you know, nearly as easily. I remember doing that, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, that's a good time to actually- oh jeez. <laughs> that's a good time to attack them. Yes, okay. See, now that there's only one of them, watch, I can, I can block them efficiently. Oh, I didn't realize he was doing that move, okay. I was waiting for him to attack, I'm like, dude, why aren't you attacking? See, now that he's, you know, he's pretty much giving himself away where he's gonna attack, so it's kind of easy, but when there's three of them, I can't do it. There we go. I, I can't believe I almost died again, like, jeez. Please tell me there's a fairy or something. Or hearts. I know there's not a heart piece, because it's not an actual boss, it's a mini boss. <laughs> Bombs? You see, bombs. They actually give us bombs because, like, they know. They want us to use bombs here. <clears throat> hearts. Give me all the hearts. Man, I feel like such a noob. I don't normally need to get these hearts. <clears throat> there was probably a lot easier of a method to do this, but I don't know. I don't know any methods. It's been, like, so long since I've played this game. <laughs> Let's go. And get the sacred water because it's gonna be nice. So we did a decent amount of progress. And actually, you know what? What I said about like the whole 20 minute thing, we're at like 23 minutes, but I could go for like, you know, 25, 26 minutes. And I will oh <laughs> I thought he would roll up. Fruit like a fruit roll up. Okay, now this time we don't hit that, I'm pretty sure. We, we go up to the waterfall and get the water. Because when we use an empty bottle, it becomes sparkling water, right? No? Oh, is that only at the main waterfall? Let me, let me pour this, no, let me <laughs> pour this out. It has to be sparkling, I'm pretty, oh, there's a goddess cube over here, I didn't even notice. Yeah, where the fairies are, because there's fairies over there, I can see them over there. So, I guess only one part of the waterfall is actually sacred. I guess that makes sense, I don't know. <clears throat> Fairies... Let me catch one of them, actually. Because that will save me having to get a potion. Although, um, I think a potion is better because it gives you eight, but oh well. So, let's get some sacred water. Because I believe where the fairies are, that's where the water is actually sacred. Yes. You got some sacred water. This pure water can heal the wounds, but doesn't it only last like a few minutes? Or is that Wind Waker, where the water only lasts like 20 minutes or whatever it was? I forgot. <laughs> There's a 95% probability that the water here is the identical water to the water- uh, like, like really? Like jeez, you gotta go like on all of this thing. Things, yes. So. A good way, now this is what I should have done to st uh, start off this temple, but what you can do, you go to the sky, right? And then when you're at the sky, you go back in and then you go to the water dragon place. You know, assuming that you have the, um, <clears throat> the warp active, which I believe I did activate the warp, which is fortunate for me. But, let's see. 
At least I'm pretty sure that I did activate the warp. <clears throat> the warp being the bird statue. Because I think I even <laughs> mentioned, I'm like, oh, you gotta activate this bird statue because it's really important. Can I center? Yeah, I need to center. And, like, I believe it's like Floria? It has to be because there's nowhere else. Like, that seems the closest spot to it. No. Hum. Hum. Did I not activate the thing? Oh, I didn't even know I could go here. Wait, is there an open ceiling? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that I could fall down here. Maybe the ones are actually birds you can fall down. That makes a lot of sense, actually. But, let's go down and just quickly go to the spot where the water dragon is. The water primordial. Oh, hello. Urchin. Or something whatever your name happens to be would have liked to go to the freaking spot you know where the actual dragon is but unfortunately I'm not well fortunately I'm not that far away from it I don't think okay I was about to say did I go backwards because I wasn't seeing where the actual thing was and fortunately he didn't hit the wall because we were gonna have problems if we did <clears throat> not that many problems though and will we do this? Can I nail the landing this time? Eh, that's better. That's a lot better. Now, let's see. Hmm. Yes, just look at that color. There's no doubt this water is the one I need. Quickly, give it to me. Now, don't do what I did. I actually poured the water without talking to her because I thought you actually had to, like, go up to her manually, you know, and pour the water. I did that my first time playing this, and I... I regretted my life. I don't even know why it lets you use the water. Or maybe it doesn't. I think I'm remembering that wrong, maybe. Haha! -ha, the water dragon. The water primordial. <laughs> hmm, exquisite. Exquisite? I can feel its energy surging through me. Literally, it looks like there's energy going through you. That looks cool. Behold, the full majest. M m what? I, I pressed A by accident. <laughs> Human, you have done well to bring me such sacred water I asked you for. I see now it is no coincidence that you have completed that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained the goddess's skill. I'll I will grant you the favor. Now I believe we go to the dungeon. <clears throat> because we can't actually go to the dungeon because there's this big waterfall passing it. I didn't actually mention that, but behind the waterfall the dungeon is there. Now behold my power! My power! <laughs> Sacred power. Ha hmm, ha hmm, that's what I say. Ha hmm. Ha hmm, indeed. That reminds me of something. Another video game, I, I can swear, like, I, I can swear. <laughs> I could have sworn, like, another video game has done that exact same thing where they stopped a waterfall like that. I don't know, just probably me. I say, like, I say that too much. Like, oh, that that's so familiar. That, that seems like it's from another game, but I don't know. Ah, but you are the goddess's chosen hero. Swatting the few monsters will be no trouble for you, will it? No, it will not. So this video is almost a half an hour. Geez. So when she, when the cutscene actually ends, we'll start the video. Haha. <laughs> so in the last, in the next, in the last video, yeah, in the next video we will do the, I guess, water temple. I don't know what it's actually called, but see you later, guys, and goodbye.